All right, hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kay. So uh, this is the 3rd of March 2022 on Thursday, and this is a video session, not a live stream, uh, but I hope you enjoy the video until the end. And today I will talk about the time cycles. I have seen uh, some uh, nice time cycle examples on euro pairs, because the euro is now going bearish and the euro pair is going down. And in this downtrend, you can actually look at the time cycles of Ichimoku so that until when this downtrend may continue and when, roughly when, the market may turn bullish again. So, um, yeah, so today I will cover three pairs on Euro pairs. So I hope you enjoy the video until the end. So let me uh, turn the screen. Okay, and a quick disclaimer, uh, this information is all based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your risk. And also, since this is a video session, if you can please follow the rules and guidelines on comment box, that would be great. And also, quick announcement is that, you know, I have these only official services, uh, web page and YouTube and Twitter. I have two YouTube account, this one in the second channel, and then Twitter account, ForexK, and at ForexK, notice, and all the others are fake. So if you are in the Telegram or Instagram or uh, Facebook, they're all fake because I don't do. And sometimes I see a fake Twitter account of mine. So just be careful because recently there are many fake uh, accounts, spams of mine. So just be careful. Okay, so um, let me tra switch to trading view and start to talk about the time cycles on euro pairs okay so first i will cover the euro usd so this is a daily chart so whenever you take the time cycles uh, you have to take the daily chart time cycles works in the daily chart but not a lower time frames i have actually tested the time cycles lower time frames like one hour or even five minute chart i have tested it but um, it doesn't really work because um, the, the more the time frame gets lower, the more it's got the noise in the market. So the highs and lows, you know, in five or even one hour chart, sometimes you see many spikes in highs and lows many times. And in these conditions, uh, time cycles um, do not really work. So I figured based on my backtesting also, um, time cycle works in the daily chart or the higher time frames. So, but usually I take the daily chart to cap time cycles because in Forex, the market goes up and down every week. Sometimes, you know, it goes up and down uh, like in a day, but most likely you see the swing highs and swing lows in a daily or weekly basis or even monthly basis. You see these highs and lows in Forex. So um, in Forex, I capture time cycles as per the daily time frame and it works very good. So today I will cover Euro USD and Euro Pound and Euro JPY time cycles. So first let me explain what I found on the Euro USD. So, so here is my time cycle analysis. So when you capture time cycles, uh, this is actually one of the most frequent asked questions uh, is that where to start counting time cycles. You see many highs and many lows, like uh, if I cancel the time cycles, you see many highs and lows and you wonder where to start. And what I usually do is I simply count, start counting from the top or bottom. And in this example, I see two tops here and also one bottom. So when I see charts, uh, I first take the most recent swing lows and swing highs and start counting. So in this case, I simply count in between these highs or between from this low to the previous low and also the most recent low. So, and if I can find any Kihon Suchi numbers. And Kihon Suchi is a series of number and it's a fixed number like Fibonacci levels. In time cycles, it goes horizontally. So Kihon Suchi is basically captured as 9 or as 17 and 26 and 33 and 42 
and so on. Um, if you Google the Honsuchi number, then you may be able to find the information. Or if you can uh, watch my uh, Ichimoku basic video series, part one to five, where I talk about the time cycles, time theory, I also introduce the series of Kihon Suchi numbers. But in Forex, uh, in the daily time frame, most likely it happens within the 50, uh, sorry, this is 42, 42 and 51. But most likely it happens in less than 51 candles. I've seen many 9 to 26 candles in between the highs and lows in Forex. So once I capture these swing highs and swing lows, I simply count the number of candles and then look for the Kihon switch time cycles first. So when I do, this is I found. So, so first, um, you know, let me talk about this uh, previous highs. So the previous high was captured uh, 4th of February and then there was also the 14th of January high. And in between, there was 16 bars. And as I mentioned before, 17 as Kihon Suchi number, 16 candle is only one difference. So when you count time cycles, one or two candlestick difference is acceptable. So if it's 9, then uh, 7 to 11 is acceptable in time cycles because market does not always turn exactly on these Kihon Suchi numbers. So 16 is acceptable because 17 is Kihon Suchi. So once I found this, I just, uh, you know, fix these lines. And then I count backwards. And backwards, this was the, the previous high from uh, 14th of January. And it was 57 bars. And 57 was not the Kihon Suchi number. But I just, you know, uh, take this anyways, because we might see another 57 to the past or future. So 57 I place and then counting from here previously uh, all the way back in the 3rd of September last year it was 40 bars. So in the swing highs it was 40 bars, 57 and 16. So this is a time cycle for the highs. And next you basically do the same on the lows too. So you, you take the swing low here which was 28th of January and counting backwards here it was 48. And 48 um, was not really the Kihon Suchi number but it's kind of close to 51. It's a three candlestick difference. Uh, so 48 you can just keep it and then counting backwards and counting backwards from 24th November uh, if you find the previous low it was on the 20, uh, 12th of October, and it was 32 bars. And 33 is Kihon Suchi, and 32 is only one candlestick difference, so that is acceptable. So like this, when you count time cycles, first you focus on, time, focus on Kihon Suchi numbers, and see if the market has been marking swing highs and swing lows on these Kihon Suchi numbers. But even even if not Kihon Suchi number, you can just take it because uh, it might continue. Let's say uh, the 57 bars between 28th of October last year and the 14th January this year happened. So to the future 57 time cycle may continue. And although this is not the Kihon Suchi number, it happens like this. And this is called the Taito Suchi number. And I also explained this on the Ichimoku basic video series, so you can refer to it. So like this, I, I got this time cycle on the highs and lows. And this is the basic way to capture time cycles. Um, you can actually, you know, in advanced techniques, you can actually take the time cycles from high to low, for example, or high to the uh, next low here. So time cycle offers in waveforms, in I wave or V wave or N wave forms. So if you take that uh, from high to low, high to the most recent low, it becomes I wave time cycle. And then if you capture the swing highs, then most likely it becomes a V wave time cycle. 
and if you take the second uh, second future law which is here it becomes reverse end wave or end wave time cycle so this is like you know studying about the market in terms of the time uh, so you can actually do these variations if you get if you get used to it but um, to be simple uh, you can simply capture cycles and highs and lows and I think this is the most easiest and also um, you know powerful way to cap time cycles along the way so now after you covered the previous chart in time cycles then it's time for you to project the future so in Ichimoku you know we're not here to predict the future so the reason we kept time cycles is that we see so that we see potential reverse in the future so on the swing lows so the most recent low was here which was marked on the 20th of January which was over here and counting from here if it turns 26 or around 26 bars which is one of the key Honsuch numbers then the market may turn on the 4th of March which is going to be tomorrow so the market is bearish right now in the euro USD and after especially after you see this support level breakout you may think that the market continue to go down however time cycle low is very close tomorrow is exact 26 so it may turn um, between 22 to uh, 2nd of March and 8th of March because we can expect accept two two uh, two days uh, in difference so um, yeah it may turn around the 4th of March and turns to be bullish might be expected so in that sense you know since even if this is bearish um, it may stop you from trading sell so this is how you can use time cycles um, so for now I stop trading uh, or even if I trade if even if I take a sell I know that this is a potential future henkabi for the lows and it might go up from here so with that in mind I take sell and as soon as the market retrace backwards I exit um, so if you know time cycles uh, you know you can prepare psychologically when it turns backwards and this is how I use time cycles but I don't buy here just because time cycles here the future handcuff is here I don't buy because actually um, time cycle has two meanings one is the market reverse which is you know uh, basic or they, I think this is the most you know um, uh, famous common way to explain time cycle henkabis so when the market gets the henkabi then it turns bullish and this is one of the examples but when the when the market reaches the henkabi it goes it goes bearish also it accelerates and goes bearish also so basically there are two meanings of henkabi but when the market is cl getting close to henkabi um, it actually sh shows, uh, show, shows you that you have to be careful for the retracement. So with that in mind, you can sell and when the market turns bullish, then you can just exit very quickly. In this case, if you simply trade by the daily time frame, I would put the stop loss above the Tenkan Sen and once the market starts to turn from, from tomorrow or today even, then I will exit at the Tenkan Sen level that will be one of the strategies so that's for the low so for the low tomorrow is going to be henkabi so around tomorrow or somewhere tomorrow it may turn bullish and that's one and as for the highs the previous high was on the 4th of february so and if you extend this time cycle to the future which is going to be also 26 ihon such number then the future date is going to be 11th of March the Henkabi for the high is going to be the 11th of March so if the market continue to re continue to respect time cycles from the lows and highs then around tomorrow market may turn bullish and 
around 11th March, the market may be bearish. So that is one of the scenarios that we can create by time cycles. So, you know, once again, time cycle is not to predict the future. So, you know, sometimes the market doesn't respect 26, but it may extend bearish for the next 33. If that's the case, you have to keep monitoring the chart every day and see how it goes. But uh, by taking these cycles, by taking these future henkabis, then you know the market reverse may happen and you can prepare psychologically. It's the true essence of why you take time cycles. So that was the example on Euro USD. And I have two other examples today. So the other one is Euro Pound. So Euro Pound has been bearish and I just draw one, one descending trend line because it has been bouncing once by three times and this is the four time, uh, first time uh, you know, uh, bounce right now, which is just happening today. And overall, the market has been bearish. Now Kumo's down, single span BA down, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen down, and Chikou span below candles because of that breakout of yesterday. So with this in mind, if you take time cycles, it will look like this. So as far as I see these time cycles right now, I see the lows. Um, the lows, the previous low was the 3rd of February. And so that the next future Tenkabi could be around 10th of March. If it's 26 bars, it's going to be 10th of March. So, and since there is a descending trend line, I expect the market gradually go down along with the descending trend line and around 10th of March, it turns bullish. It's my expectation. So from this reason, you know, I don't take a sell right now on Euro pound, although I see bearish in the market. And in terms of the highs, uh, you can see that the most previous highs between the 3rd of February and the 25th February are 15 bars in between, 15 bars. So it was 15 and it's close to 17, two kind of difference. So from the most previous high, 25th of February Henkabi, if you extend the line to the future, hold on, you count the number of candles in the future, then um, that will be 17 will be on the 21st of March. So 21st of March could be the handcuff for the high. So if that's the case, then the market gradually go down or continue to be range until the 10th of March and it turns bullish on 21st of March. However, this is just one of the scenarios. When the market breaks the descending trend line and continue to go down this way, then it may stop downtrend on the 10th of March and then it may reverse backwards and then afterwards it may continue to go down this way. So this is also another scenario by these time cycles in the future. And so with this in mind, you can monitor the chart along the way. So the next example is on Euro JPY. We can see that the Euro JPY has been bearish for the last two weeks but uh, if you just lay out the time cycles it will look like this so this is i think very simple and very easy to understand time cycle because uh, you see the clear highs and clear lows so and also uh the previous highs between 5th of january and 10th february was 27 and as uh, 26 as ihon switch number 27 is very close and also, if you look at this previous low, uh, which was marked 25th of January, and yesterday, the 2nd of March, it was also 27. And previously also, um, from um, the low of the 25th of January, going backwards to 20th December, it was also 27. So we see recently, since 
uh, last December, we see these 27 time cycles in the highs and lows. So um, the market may turn from the 2nd of March and it may go up to Kumo or Kijunsen can be expected. And also the market was at the support level 127.39. We had second, uh, first and second um, and also the third uh, support uh, on this price level so from here it could go up this way so in this case i don't look for the sell chance anymore so like this if you can use time cycles you can capture until when until roughly when the market goes up or down so in terms of this one i forgot to capture the next potential swing high so let me just do this manually so count start counting from the high from high on the 10th of February I simply I extend it to the future 27 it will be on going to be on the 18th of March yeah on the 18th of March could be the next future Henka before the high so if the market continue to be supported here and it goes up then uh, it may continue to go up until the 18th of March and afterwards it may and bearish or it may accelerate the trend direction and the market may go up to the next Gihon Suchi number 33 so like this you can capture time cycles and potentially uh, capture roughly until when the market goes up or down and roughly when the market turns afterwards so that you can psychologically prepare uh, for uh, the potential henkari so and also um, you know so let's say you buy right now and if you decide to hold the buy until the 18th of March it's possible too you can literally leave chart for uh, about like uh, half a month in this way until the market reaches to the near the future henkari and when the market reaches to close to the future Henkabi, maybe 16th of March, then simply you can come back chart and see how it plays out. If it goes bearish, then you can exit, but if it goes up, then it may turn bearish from the 16th of March, so you can look for exit timing on this timing. So in that sense, it saves time also for you to continue to monitor chart every day. Simply, you come back the chart on this your henkabis and um, you can just analyze the market situations on these timings and yeah so um, these time cycles were originally created by stock market index so some of you may wonder if it works in forex but uh, based on my experience and based on these examples you can tell that it has been working in the forex market so um, you can still Keep using it um, for me um, I don't trade cryptos so I'm still still looking into how time cycles work in cryptos crypto markets but uh, in Forex in stock index in commodities gold or WTI oil it works and uh, this is true based on my experience so uh, yeah and uh, so Whatever markets you look at, uh, you know, just take the daily time frame and uh, practice on these time cycles. And uh, because this is very powerful and this is actually the true essence of Ichimoku. You know, as Goichi Hotsu says, he says, time is everything in the market. So we tend to focus on the price. How much it goes, how much it goes down. Uh, we tend to focus price, vertical axis, but once you start to focus on the horizontal axis time cycles then you may be able to uh, notice something new and you can understand the market more deeply in that way so uh yeah that's it for today's video uh if you liked it please press the like button and after this video ends in about 30 minutes there will be an uh, ichimoku membership live so if you would like to know more about the Ichimoku time cycles and Ichimoku basics at essence and at the deep, deep level, then you're always welcome 
to join my Ichimoku community. You can uh, click the link on below the description to get further details. Okay, so thank you for watching until the end, and I will see you in the next one. So, yeah, since this is Thursday, we have a couple of big news in the US, so just be careful. And tomorrow, there will be no fun payrolls in the US. So, since this is the first week of the month, we have big news. So, just be careful. Whenever you see these news, you know, do not take trades right before the news. Always stay away and come back afterwards is a rule. So, until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.